Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi my name is Janelle and I upload new videos every week. In today's video, I basically wanted to do my makeup and pretend like I was on a FaceTime call with you guys, just catching up on life, new exciting things. I wanted this to be very chill, but I wanted to create a really pretty makeup look too while I'm hanging out with you guys. Yeah, this is a look I came up with. Epitome of a perfect holiday glam, so blown out and effortless. Let's just jump right into the video. Do I want to wear foundation today or do I want to keep it natural? I think I'm going to apply my Ilia Skin Tint. I recently picked this up and I just feel like it's a really nice lightweight. Also guys, I got a new camera, playing around with it, seeing how I like it. I'm not sure how I feel yet. This, I wanted something in between my Canon G7X that I used for vlogging and my Canon 80D. That's like a much bigger heavy duty camera however sometimes it can just be too much to set up the tripod and i feel like it's less intimate because i can't such a big camera that like i can't just prop it up on a little vlogging tripod and just be like chilling and up close and personal with you guys if you guys like it if you guys can even notice a difference let me know your thoughts so where have i been nobody asked but i'm gonna tell you anyway so these last couple weeks have been so good okay that's a lie they've been kind of all over the place they have been good but then they are had ups and downs my birthday recently passed and my whole family came in town so i was just being like super present we went to new york city we went to boston it was so much fun it was my mom dad grandma my grandma hadn't seen our house yet and then my brother's girlfriend and my brother and they were all hanging out in my house. It's always so weird when family leaves though because because then my house is just so quiet afterward. That was a lot of fun. I also feel like I have not filmed a makeup tutorial on this channel in so long. Now I'm gonna try this Milani Conceal Imperfect in the shade Pumpkin. I have not tried this before, but my under eyes have been so dark. I'm getting over being sick and so my under eye bags are just terrible it's been terrible because every single day this week it doesn't matter how much sleep i get it feels like i've gotten no sleep like i'm just when you're sick and your eyes just feel so heavy that's how i've been all week long i feel like all the other symptoms are gone but my eyes are still just like burning so i'm gonna put some of this to help cancel out those blue tones i've been really loving everything in the milani conceal imperfect line so anyways my family and i we finally got to go to new york city for the holidays and see the rockefeller christmas tree in case you guys did not know that has been like on my bucket list that along with seeing the macy's thanksgiving day parade which i have yet to do but i will one day and then after they left i literally ended up going to florida right behind them for my graduation your girl is a college graduate Good do your backstage concealer just because this is a little bit more lightweight and i'm gonna put another product on top of this product just because i want to try it out so yeah i finally got my college degree which was huge accomplishment for me mainly because of all the obstacles that had come my way and there were so many times where i literally wanted to give up or was just like this is pointless this is embarrassing it's been so many years but i did it and i did it debt free i paid for that out of pocket and i went through getting furloughed from my job i went from a whole global pandemic i went through moving to a whole different state, planning a whole wedding, getting married. Like I did so much all while being in college and like some people can handle doing all that and be able to go to school full time. I just wasn't one of those people. I was taking classes at my own pace, doing two to three classes a semester. I was working, I was creating YouTube content twice a week at one point, which was like another full-time job. Worked full-time, again, still doing social media and all that and it took me a while, but I did it and I'm just glad I didn't give up on it. I got my degree in business organization administration and so it's been really helpful using what i've been doing in school for what i'm doing now in case you guys didn't know i'm creating content on social media full time i've been finally able to make this like a career as of this year with my tiktok account which has been just such a blessing even though like my career field doesn't really call for a college degree i just knew that having that background knowledge would be super helpful and I really feel like it has helped me leverage and make the most out of my content to work with like brands and stuff and see like the business side of it. More than anything, I'm just happy that I finished what I started. So now I want to try this Milani Eye Brightener. It's like a pink highlight just because I want these under eyes to be popping because your girl has been struggling. So anyways, with now having a platform where I'm able to work with brands that I love do what I love. It's been hard to navigate and fit YouTube into that just because YouTube is a lot more time consuming and still don't even know where I fit in the YouTube realm. But I'm trying to figure out ways to create content that I enjoy and since my TikTok content was focused a lot on doing short makeup concepts, 
I find that that's what I enjoy doing and editing versus like a 30 minute long video of a makeup tutorial. Unless there's like something really specific that you guys wanna see, but it just becomes a lot when you're doing editing for like five plus hours, filming for two plus hours, and then it's not even content that people want to see or that YouTube is even pushing out. So that's just been my thing. So I've been trying to find things that, putting a little more of this, I enjoy filming. So uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but in my last few YouTube videos, I've just been doing like sit down, kind of talking videos, sharing with you guys my recommendations, whether it's in my living room. Like I just like to be able to plop up my camera anywhere and act like I'm on a FaceTime call, just sharing either tips or my favorite product. I definitely want my YouTube to just be more casual. Also, maybe be able to go more in depth on either topic or things that I like that I can't really be as long winded about on other platforms. And I'm trying to figure out what I'm good at and like be honest with myself. Now using my Milani liquid contour to contour. I promise this video is not sponsored by Milani. I just really have been loving this line of products. So also what is exciting with graduating is that I have some exciting new business ventures that I wanna take on. I put on way too much of this. This is intense. I'm gonna use my beauty sponge to help blend that out. I got some exciting things coming or they will be coming. I mean, I'm still in the, a very, very early process, but because I don't have like a set career that I'm gonna enter into because I'm already doing what I love to do and kind of using my business tools in this, but I wanna create something of my very, very own. So just know that contour just doing really like tapping motions to blend this out Do you guys have any cool plans for the holidays are you traveling anywhere fun let me know in the comments down below where you are spending your christmas your new year's i'm really curious to know i think it's actually gonna be a white christmas here in connecticut but i don't think i'm gonna see it blush i'm back on my nars liquid blush game i've been loving this blush i just love how it melts into the skin and lately i've been loving to apply it with a really small like fluff brush like this because i just feel like i can get really precise but still spread it out really nice and this is the more the V111. I like to start on the highest point of my cheekbone like this and then just bring it back. Just find it makes it look really flattering for my face shape. This is something that I've been really wanting to try. So let's try it out. Charlotte Tilbury Pink Gasm Blush. Look at how cute she is. Let's see how she apply. Oh my gosh. Be excited about this. Absolutely not. This has no right to be this stunning. Are you kidding me? What in the world? That's so beautiful. I can't believe I waited this long to try it just so I could try it on camera and I was missing out on having my cheeks look this bright and glowy. My favorite way to apply powder is to set first with the Makeup Revolution setting spray. Then I like to take a powder puff. However, I can't take, I can't find my Beauty Blender powder puff that I've been loving lately. So my next favorite choice is this flat top Morphe brush. It's the Morphe Vegan Pro Series V100. I'll swirl it in my Dior Backstage powder. Hands down, been my favorite powder ever this year. It sets your makeup, but keeps that really natural skin like glow. However, there's rumors that this is being discontinued, which makes no sense. The Charlotte Tilbury one is another good option. The Never 7 Perfect Light Setting Powder is another good option. What you're gonna do is while your skin is still damp you're gonna start tapping it in circular motions and then if you have a velour powder puff that would also be good you'll just pat it in circular motion do you guys see this see how smooth that looks but you still keep that glow it's just a little bit more controlled so that way if you do get shiny or anything throughout the day it's not gonna be as crazy but it's still not going to compromise that subtle glow now taking my jouet butter bronzer it's kind of everything in one this will leave your skin with the most stunning bronze glow to it when i wear this you cannot tell that i am living in new england and have not gotten sun in like two months taking this morphe v112 brush and just work it in there and do you see that skin just looks so juicy but it is dry as a desert right now it kind of reminds me of my hourglass bronzer, but this one has a little bit more of that ethereal glow to it. It is just absolutely breathtaking. Yeah, I'm gonna use a different bronzer for my nose just because I don't want it to be too shiny. Tarte Parka Princess. It's a nice neutral matte shade. Warm up the sides of my nose and set where we did the cream contour. Weird too, because it looks a lot more cool tone in the packaging, but as you can see, once I apply it, it's like the perfect undertone. I'm V excited for Christmas this year. It's like the first year where I can truly get all the gifts that I want to get for people this year. I don't think I've ever been more excited to give gifts out 
out this year. I cannot wait. And like, I have to keep stopping myself from like getting more presents because I'm like, okay, that might be a little bit overwhelming. But I'm just so excited. And I feel like I got some really good gifts this year too that I'm just so excited for my family to get them and open them. I recently picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Ecstasy Blush. Such a perfect pinky but neutral blush shade. I also like to bring that blush all the way up underneath of my eye because once I set it with a brightening loose powder underneath of the eye, it gives the most pretty pinky under eye. I put a good amount across my nose. This has been my favorite under eye powder, the Sigma Soft Focus Powder. It literally just smooths your under eyes, gives a little bit more coverage, and brightness. However, I don't want to use this because I recently got a Milani powder that I really want to try out. So I think I'm going to do that instead. But if I didn't want to try a new product on camera with you guys, this is what I'd be using. So I recently got this Milani Conceal and Perfect Blur Out Powder. I'm going to slide it down the sides of my nose first. It is super fine. This powder isn't going to give you as much coverage, but I will say it is a very fine smoothing powder. Like, that really just created such a nice filter on the skin. I'm gonna let this sit and then I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. I say things like I'm asking a question. I need to start talking with a low note at the end. I'm going to, it sounds like I'm singing sometimes. I've been trying to work on that because they say that it's especially important if you are working in corporate America as a woman. Not that I am working in corporate America, but I need people to take me serious. And I know what I'm talking about a lot of times, but a lot of times it sounds like I don't know what I'm talking about because I say things as a question. So this is your sign. Stop saying things as a question. Take it from me. Um, all right, so I'm really excited. Rem Beauty sent me some new makeup. So I got this new palette and look how cool the packaging is. Super sleek and look at these shades. Nothing revolutionary, but absolutely stunning and exactly my kind of eyeshadow. These are the type of palettes that I've been loving lately. Something that's super compact, not overwhelming, has all the shades that I need to create a look and that isn't too bulky. This is like the ideal palette to travel with too because it's a hard packaging so they're not gonna crumble or break as easily. Start off by setting all over with this cream shade. Hey! Take this shade to warm up my crease. Can you believe that in 2023, it will be 10 years of me being on YouTube? 10 years! Doesn't look like it's been 10 years. I started filming YouTube videos when I was 17 years old. Granted, my YouTube never took off, but I'm so thankful for YouTube because, or if I hadn't started creating content on YouTube, I would have never started creating content on other platforms. I think I'm gonna keep my fluffy brush. I'm gonna dip into this shade and I'm just gonna start dusting that. I think I want this look to de definitely be a little more, more blown out. Taking that same color, but this time with a smaller brush. Taking it on the side of the brush. Tap this on the lash line. Taking this dual-ended Charlotte Tilbury liner, I'm gonna take the black shade. I'm gonna lightly sketch this on my top lash line. This little smudger brush, trying to smudge it out. With that same brush dipping into the darkest brown in the palette. I'm gonna start at the base of my lash and just flick it upward. And this will help blend out that black and give it a really nice gradient. I'm also going to take some more of that brown and bring it up into the crease a little bit. I think I'm gonna do this shade right here. Small fluff brush, apply that on my lid. And the reason why I like to take shimmers sometimes with a small fluff brush is because it'll give it more of a blown out look versus super intense, shimmery, cut crease type of look. Like I'm able to maneuver the product around a little bit more. And then if I want it more pigmented in certain areas, I can pick it up with my finger and tap it in the center, maybe wherever I want more of that pop. Tight line, the upper waterline. Taking a little bit of the matte light shade and mixing it with that shimmer we place on the lid and tapping that in this inner corner. I normally don't like the way light creamy colors like this look in my waterline. I'm gonna play around with it and see how I like it. Now I'm going to spray my face MAC Fits Plus. Taking that little smudger brush with this color, I'm gonna tap that along the lower lash line. Also kind of flicking it up to create a little bit more of a wing effect. And then I'm gonna balance out my front a little bit more. Whenever it's too dark out here and too bright in here, I feel like it just doesn't look good with my eye shape. I'm gonna take some of that darker brown and just flick it up in here. And that'll just help kind of balance out my eye. Using my e.l.f. Clear Brow Lift for my brows. I always like to back comb first. It looks crazy and then brush it up. And that helps keep my unruly brows in place. Now taking my Anastasia Brow Powder. I've been loving to use this in the brows. Mine is in the shade Dark Brown and I use a lighter shade. Start by outlining the middle part of the brow from the bottom and then I'll start to flick it upward. I don't outline the front of the brow because I don't like it to be so sharp. What I do toward the front of the brow is I just line it up right here and I flick it up. I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara and do all that stuff. I'm not gonna record it. I'll link everything down below. Alright, I was looking for my lip primer everywhere, but I can't find it. Lining my lips with Makeup Forever, either cherry. 
Topping that with MAC Russian Red. Just got this in my MAC Advent Calendar. And I'm so excited because I've actually never owned MAC Russian Red. And lastly, to give my skin a little bit more of a glow, but I don't want to have to go in with a separate highlight, I'm going to add more of that Charlotte Tilbury Pink Gaza. I'm going to apply some on the back of my hand. Now I'm going to pick some up with my beauty sponge and just start to tap that on the high point of my cheek. I feel beautiful. This is such a pretty holiday look. Still kind of wearable. It's not like an overpowering, glittery, sparkly glam. Also, I love that this red lip is bright, but it's not like a cherry apple red either. It's still a little bit wearable. I really hope that you guys enjoy just hanging out with me, doing my makeup. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more content from me i would definitely appreciate it you can check me out on instagram and tiktok i post on there every single day when i'm not posting on here i love you guys i hope that you all have the merriest christmas ever and i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>